Yeah, it was the uh, best thing I could think of to do. We haven't done it yet, so we'll go do this. The view outside the window catches my eye. It almost looks like a like, like some sort of battleship there or something. <laughs> kind of interesting. Yeah, I know. I'll come back and I'll start doing stuff here. Just not right now. Let's get in the right place. Okay. You've made our family whole again. Thank you. You're welcome. Here's my boy. Huh? Oh, what? Anyways, I'll, uh... Yeah, I'll build a school. I'll build a dorm. But we need to get more people here first, so we'll worry about that then. And we come up to this checkpoint, and there's nobody shooting here. Got the area covered. So, we're... You're grabbing stuff. It makes me think that All quiet, maybe the guys this site belongs to the just gather stuff and put it up here. And I have no idea what this person is doing. Maybe they're putting new stuff in that chest. Maybe that's how it works. Okay, so... There's the Cabot place. I could jump to Pikmin Gallery. And let's go to Bunker Hill instead. Maybe. I think I was looking at something else. <laughs> okay, I don't know what I was doing. Here. Damage aside, the fact that the monument still stands is a testament to human architecture. Yeah, whatever. Okay. So which way do I need to go? Oh, I apparently need to go in the exact opposite direction. Alright, so we'll go this way. Alright, we'll go down, we'll turn right and left. Go down, turn right. How about that? Some more donut mix. People throwing away a lot of donut mix around here. Somebody has replenished the Halloween candy. A new baseball cap. We have something to shoot at. Picking up hostile life signs. Okay, where'd the other guy go? I don't see him. Which way did he go? Alright, well, that was easily enough done. So what do we got here? We got... Super Mutant Orders. Oh, well. Okay, so now which way do we want to go? Man, it's like practically... We're, we're like there. <laughs> sort of. Through here, Get that space over there. 
No, it's this way. Okay, well, let's go through here then. Uh, private property. Okay, so where is it? That structure looks quite promising. I come down here and I realize that what I need is behind me. <laughs> I was like right there in front of it. Let's go meet the boss. Let's go meet the boss. What is this place? Better to let Jack answer that. Come on. Jack, the new gal is here. One moment, one moment. I just have to. Oopsie. He'll be right with us. <laughs> Clearly, I'll need to adjust the mixture. Hello, hello. Welcome to Cabot House. I'm Jack Cabot. Does the explosion need to be bigger or smaller? <laughs> Preserved, fancy lads. It was kind of awkward because he's moving. What is this place? This is my ancestral home. The Cabots have always lived here since long before the Great War. If you're asking what we're still doing here, with Boston in its current sad state, well, that's a story for another time, perhaps. Edward said you needed to talk to me before he hired me? Yes, Edward finds it tiresome, but I always like to know personally everyone who works for me. Please, have a seat. How about a drink? Edward, the good bourbon, eh? Oh, the good bourbon. Please. Have a seat. Untouched by time? I don't know. Now, before we get down to business, I have a question I like to ask all my new employees. I guess I'm supposed to sit over here. Don't for... interrupt, Edward. The question is this Do you believe there is other intelligent life in the universe? Now, technically speaking. Are you talking about aliens? UFOs and little green men? No, no. That's all popular hysteria. But we... I doubt any of it has any basis in fact. <laughs> I'm talking about the hidden history of our planet. The very origins of human civilization. Ancient powers that modern science, even at its pinnacle, could barely begin to comprehend. We tracked one down to his crash site. Crash site. Killed him and you took his weapon. You think aliens created human civilization? Yes, if by alien you mean a non-human precursor to the commonly understood founding cultures, Sumer, Egypt, Assyria. My father excavated a city in the Rub al Khali in Arabia, which he dated to more than 4,000 years before the rise of any known human civilization. The structures and artifacts were strange, disturbing even, clearly not constructed for or by humans. I've spent my life trying to decipher what he uncovered. Jack, can I tell her what I need her to do? I'm sorry, Edward. I just get carried away sometimes. You're sending her to look for the missing shipment. Yeah. Well then, I'd better leave you to it. We'll talk more about this some other time, when things are less rushed. It isn't important now. Welcome to the family. Okay. You're officially hired. Congratulations. What was all that about? Don't worry about it for now. That's part of the job, by the way. It's best to keep an open mind. Jack may be eccentric, but he's definitely not crazy. The job I got for you is simple. Jack owns a facility north of the city. There's an important package that went missing between there and here. I need you to track it down and bring it back to me. Any questions? For starters, what's this package I'm looking for? It's a metal case holding vials of serum. 
You don't need to worry about what it is. Jack needs it for his research. That's all you need to know. You should start at Parsons State Insane Asylum. Don't let the name spook you. It's just a secure building that we're using. We think the courier got ambushed as he was leaving the place. The guards heard gunfire in the distance, but we don't know exactly what happened. Check in with Maria at Parsons. She's in charge of the security force there. She can point you in the right direction. You all set then? Yep. I'll see you soon with the package. Good luck. Don't get killed on your first job. This isn't my first rodeo. <laughs> okay, well. Yeah. Since we've already uh, been to Parsons, we already have the map marker. Splendid! You can tackle anything in that! Yeah, so all we have to do is wait for it to reload Boston. And then we can jump. It's one o'clock in the afternoon. How long will it take us to get to almost Coastal Cottage? And here we are. It does not look very bright, but it doesn't look very dim either, so. This place is off limits. You'd best move along. Edward Deegan sent me. I'm looking for a missing package. Oh, you're the new girl. So this package, pretty sure we know where it is. The guys that shot Ben are holed up in the Parsons Creamery, just north of here. Who are these guys, raiders? Sure, assholes with guns. Although it's weird that they're still hanging around so close. Kind of like they're scouting this place or something. I don't like it. I'm glad you're gonna finally get rid of them. She's got an interesting outfit on under there. Not sure what that is. Okay, which way do I want to go? Do I want to go this way? And that's. I probably don't want to go this way. I probably want to go the other way. Something's lit up over there. My, my guess is that would probably be uh, Saugus Ironworks, maybe? I'll try to take a better look over here a little bit. See if maybe I can see something of my slog. But I don't. I guess we're too far away for it to uh, render the windmill. Talk to Maria if you need anything. I've already talked to Maria. She's told me everything I need to know. Oh wow, is that it? He didn't get very far, did he? And that is certainly close enough for a reconnaissance, isn't it? Head on up there. Incidentally, in case you haven't guessed, this leads to the largest bulk of today's episode. As we deal with the uh, raiders here at Parsons Creamery. And other places. up there or not. <laughs> I 
Just as I'm getting ready to take the shot, there's... Light him up! Oh. <laughs> Talk away. That's oh. worth... Three of them, anyway. Basketball. Mysterious serum. There were two other people. I, uh, there we go. And there was one more. I'm not going to worry about the other one. up so securely, but okay. My neighbor is banging on something. I have no idea what. I've got this one already. Let me go up here. And we go across this rickety bridge. We go out on this big pipe. We jump. And fusion cells. Thirty-eight rounds. What the fuck? God damn it. Spread out and Oh, we got some more people to mess with now. I didn't get the fishing rod though. Oh well. Gotcha. Do you? Oh, there you are. I got all day. Okay, so much for that. Alright. There's somebody else. Oh, we've got a legendary. I didn't mean to throw that, but... Go get my... Here we go. Acrobat synth right leg. Ooh, boy. Almost, but not quite as good as the uh, freefall legs. But since I'm wearing basically freefall moon suit, <laughs> And I'm in power armor. I don't really need to worry about that. So Parsons Creamery. This would be where all the milk for all those these milk machines would come from. Must have been where they were before the uh, plasma grenade went off. It kind of threw me off. Just thinking how wonderful it'd be to get out of this internal rain. Yeah, it would be nice. Ramen skulls. Back up. Finish snooping around, I guess. Alright. And I still don't. Grab the fishing pole. Alright. 
right, so we're on the other side. Is there anything interesting here? A couple of skeletons, short combat shotgun, and a crate. What's in the crate? That's it. Yeah, some 45 rounds in Rad Axe. stopped by a little thing like a lock, will we, Bob? That just leads us over there where we've been. Well, that was terribly fascinating. Oh, something up here. Maybe they sat up. Oh, they sit here and watch the uh, insane asylum is what they do. somebody. Alright, well, I'm not going to argue about that. Not sure what time it is. I think that's still the sun peeking through the clouds there. Seems like it'd be a little early for it to be the moon. There's something off in the distance. I wonder what it could be. And there's a map marker that's hollow, indicating something I haven't visited yet. So let's go see what it is. A tower. What a strange place for a tower. What does it do? What is it for? Oh, there's a bonfire. And what appear to be shacks. That's usually a sign that somebody lives or was living here. Right? So let's go snoop around. That looked like something in the distance. Got here. Lynn Woods. Well, how about that? We found Lynn Woods. I believe there is even a uh, settlement mod for Lynn Woods. Well, to be honest with you, I, I mean, it's a place. It doesn't have a settlement in it. I just don't know if it's that exciting of a place for a settlement. A master lock steamer trunk. Boy, you would think there'd be some really good goodies Sweet. in here. 20 bottle caps and... Oh, geez. Well, that was underwhelming. Oh, and here's our first corpse. And here's another corpse. Chair. Maybe it's supposed to be a guard post or something. Oh, now we have people. Over here! You're still alive. I could say the same thing about you. And now you're not. Bottle caps. Ooh, submachine gun. Like I need another one of those. It's awfully shiny for a cooking station. Oh no. I'm not done with you. Not even Disappearing on the huh? Apparently decided we were too much in trouble. Okay, well, let's go visit the tower, shall we? No need to hide. It'll all be over soon. Well, there's that Just get warmed up over here.
wasn't sure what he was attacking Codsworth with. Turns out it was just a machete. Although he had some passable armor on him. I wonder if this group is part of the group up there by the creamery. And, ooh, let's fix this. I wonder what it was connected to. And I don't know. I didn't look hard enough, I guess. Now, on the outside, it's just an odd little masonry stone tower. On the inside, looks an awful lot like a lighthouse. <laughs> if they used the exact same thing for both structures. What? So is there somebody up here waiting for me? I mean, thought I heard somebody say something. But, nope, just another corpse with a key for that chest I opened. Gee. people down there. I can't find them. Mom? Found you! Oh. Oh, ah! Not this time! There's not much here. Alright, well what happens if we turn this on? Oh look. Beer recipe. What have we got going on now? Boy, they're shooting up something! What could it be? Oh look, a death claw. Oh, and a mythic death claw. Okay. All right. Let's turn this off. It's just more annoying than anything. No sign of them now. Although we still have people alive down here, despite the death claw attack. me. Oh, look. Some stuff. Okay. And? Not sure where Codsworth is. Super Sledge. Oh, boy. I go ahead and grab it anyway. Got some death claw meat. We can make that a weird stuff. <laughs> that weird beer. Oh, there you are. Oh, and here are you coming back. This should be fun. I was just okay. No, well, he's done. So. Okay, I think we're done here for now. I'll come back later if there's anything good I missed. But for now, let's just... Oh, great. Echo Lake. Such fun. Ugh. Now let's finish this. Not acceptable. Imogene is missing and I want her found. She's not missing, Mother! Do you know where she is? No. So did you find out what happened to the courier? What else is Edward for? Some raiders set up camp near Parsons and ambushed him. I took care of them. Hmm. I don't like raiders operating so close to Parsons. 
I hope this isn't the start of something serious. What about the serum he was carrying? Did you get any of it back? Jack, how dare you speak so disrespectfully? There was only this one vial left. Oh, good. I was afraid we wouldn't get any of it back. Here's your pay for the job. I'm throwing in a little bonus for bringing back the serum. That was good work. Now, as far as what's next... Oh, hell, I guess it's time you met Wilhelmina. Jack's not gonna be happy about it. Come on. Jack, I'll take care of it. Mrs. Cabot, don't worry. I'll send someone to find Imogene. Thank you, Edward. I can always count on you. Why can't you be as devoted as dear Edward? You shouldn't indulge her, Edward. It just makes her more impossible to deal with next time. Just doing my job. Speaking of which, here's all we got back of the last delivery from Parsons. Raiders got the rest of it, I'm sorry to say. Ah, oh, good. Finally. This will help settle Mother down. Emma Jean is Jack's sister. You probably figured that out yourself. She's, uh, a little flighty. Impulsive. From time to time, she runs off. Usually with a new boyfriend. Then I send somebody to bring her home. Do you know where she's gone? No, but it shouldn't be too hard to find out. She's been spending a lot of time in Good Neighbor. That's a jazz club there, the third rail. Somebody there must know something. She's not known for keeping her mouth shut. What if she doesn't want to come home? Obviously, as one of the family, you can't just knock her in the head and drag her home by her heels. Usually, by the time I send someone after her, she's gotten bored with the whole thing and is ready to come home. I'm sure you'll think of something. You're supposed to be resourceful, remember? Now, this is where I probably made a less than good decision. We come out of here, and what I should have done is, even though it's late, I should have at least gone up to, you know, uh, Coastal Cottage. Instead, I come back down here thinking that maybe I can, you know, do that little bit beforehand and then head out and rescue the... Well, well, look at her ladyship with the robot valet. Ain't you fancy? Run across and take care of uh, the lumber yard in Far Harbor. Spare me any sob stories. Yeah, yeah. This is a skip, hotel, skip, not skip. a chair. There we go. Here's your caps. Top floor, long hallway, last room on the right. Okay. Huh? So here we go, back up to our usual hotel room. And we'll spend the night, and then we'll go and we'll take care of um, the lumber yard. Yippee yippee. And what's even more annoying is that I also got a message, first thing in the morning, of course, that uh, where we're homestead is being intact. So that will be our thing tomorrow. We will just be fast traveling back and forth. So I'll see you then. Bye now.